All right, welcome to our first lab, in the back lab room, and today we're going to be using the double pan balance. So one pan, two pans, so double pan balance. And these are um, the balances that we will be using. We'll have electronic ones we'll use later in the year, but this will be the one that you need to become familiar with. All right, so when you get into your lab, make sure always that the writer, this right here, you notice that it can go up to 10 grams. So we wanna make sure that's always set to zero so that our little um, tiny pointer is at zero and it's balanced. And you might have to occasionally kind of use the adjustment knob to get that evened out, but this one, I have it already set. All right. So with the double pan balance, the one thing that you need to always be aware is that we're going to be using the left pan to mass things. So we are today in the lab going to be taking different um, balls that we're going to be seeing their mass. You guys are going to predict the mass, then we're going to be getting the actual mass, and then we're going to be seeing what the difference is. And then figuring out the percent of error. So I'm gonna put this little ping pong ball, and you can see I put a little smidgen of clay, but we're gonna be using that same clay to kind of keep the balls from rolling off, hopefully. And so since this is gonna be um, an item that has less mass, I'm gonna start with the writer here. And already I can see that it doesn't have much mass. So then I'm going to wait till it gets to on the scale to zero, and I might have to move it down a little smidgen. And everyone in the class is gonna to need to use these because we will use these throughout the year. So right now, I know it's between one and two grams, and it's right on the, if I count the, five, the milligrams, it's 1.5 milligrams. So I've used the, put it on the left side, and I have read the writer correctly. All right, so if I'm going to, do something a little heavier. So I'm gonna try the golf ball. Again, I'm gonna put on the clay. Hopefully that doesn't go off. The writer is definitely probably going to be not enough. So this is where I'm gonna be um, using my standard masses, my known masses. So I have the baby 10, two little 20s, a 50, 100, 200. Very rarely are we gonna be using these. Sometimes I take them out of here so we don't mess with them, which might be the case today, who knows. Um, so I'm gonna start with 100 grams. And so that tells me that the 100 grams is way too much. I'm gonna then go to the 50. Again, way too much. 20, not enough. So I'm gonna add another 20. Ooh, it's starting to move a little. So let's see if the 10 is too much. So if that would be 20 plus 20, that would be 50. So it's less than 50 grams. So now I'm going to use the writer. And this is the mistake that several sometimes students make is they just say that the golf ball is 5.4 grams. They forgot to add these two 20s. So it really is 20 plus 20 is 40 plus the 5, so 45 point four grams is the mass of the golf ball. So happy massing today. Make sure everybody gets to practice with one of the items in the lab. 